Turn on the AC. It's Angel Caruso. Hello and welcome back. Today we are here to talk about Lethal Weapon, but only the fourth movie. It's a highly successful franchise which spawned a TV show and is getting a sequel made exclusively by Mel Gibson this year. However, Lethal Weapon 4, even though we all like it, we don't look at it and go, this is a, a terrible film, but there's just something missing about Lethal Weapon 4 that nobody can put the finger on. Let me give you an example. So when you have a perfect trilogy, like Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Cry Kid, and then they go and make a fourth one, for some reason, it just doesn't work. For a lot of film franchises, this has been the case. Again, Indiana Jones, Karate Kid, you had the next Karate Kid. The fourth one is always a touch and go, but it can work. The usual rule of thumb is a part five is where it starts to go wrong. Like really wrong. People are, are tired by part five. For example, Rocky Five had all the ingredients to be a good film. Saw Five. Rambo 5. Like, I, I, I could talk about more. Die Hard 5. Might not be called Die Hard 5, but the fifth one. Do you see what I mean? So, going back to Lethal Weapon 4. I remember seeing this as a trailer, not knowing it was out at the cinemas. Even though Lethal Weapon was always a huge part of my life. I remember when my cousin and my dad went to go and see part 3. I was too young. It was a 15. And already then, at that age, I thought, there's something not right with this. You look at the poster for part three, and it's lovely and bright white. They're throwing a lot of money at it, and they're including Joe Pesci now. And what the problem is with Lethal Weapon is, is once you're in those movies, they like to take you into the next one, and then into the next one, and forever expand this family. And by part four, Riggs and Mertor are kind of like second fiddle to whatever else is going on because there's that many characters. Now we want to see Riggs and Mertor happy, of course we do. But the inclusion of Joe Pesci and Chris Rock damage this film because they add this comedic element, something that we did have glimpses of in part one and part two but was done beautifully by Mel and Joe Pesci but they milk it it's like okay how do we keep him in this franchise oh he, he's just going to be this annoying friend the reality is for every funny thing that he does he turns these into these extreme comedies and it damages i mean if you look at the beginning of lethal weapon 4 where they're fishing and there's a shark on board the boat you get this like family vibe you've lost what you had in one which was this frightening a scary opening to this oh look i feel safe with these people i'm grateful that they're letting me into their lives just like it feels for rigs the doors open when you're at mertor's house that's where you feel the family and presence like i said before there is nothing wrong with lethal weapon 4 i still love it but there is something missing for every extra member of family we get put into this film, we feel empty, as in we're becoming lost in this family, just like a real huge family. Members feel lonely, and we feel that. We have it rammed down our throats. Why can't we be friends at the end of the film? We have this comedic scene which was funny, and it is funny, I guess, with the laughing gas at the dentist. And we get to see the villain laughing and joking. And we don't really know who we're rooting for at this point. Because everyone's just friends. And the stakes have been lost. So, my conclusion with Lethal Weapon 4 is... Watch it, it's great. But it's a little bit silly. And it's beautifully directed. And I don't like dissing Richard Donner movies. Because I absolutely adore them. Superman, etc. 
So I'm just going to leave that one there. Watch Lethal Weapon 4. You tell me the reasons why it's not as good as part 1 and part 2. 3 and 4, for me, are too... It's, it's just declining and declining. You cannot seem to top part 1 and part 2. Also part 2, which is the pinnacle. They knew what they were doing. They'd really found their jive and they were dancing. And then with part 3, I don't know if it was because it was made in the 90s and they changed the tone. I have no idea, but by part four, nobody cared. Because if they did, we'd have got more of these. They'd have made huge money. And it got swept aside. And we got given a TV show that got cancelled. I've always wanted more lethal weapon. But only if it's justified. So let's see what Mel Gibson can do. And I am going to leave that one there. Turn on the AC, it's Angel Caruso.